Hi guys, it's Monty the Polka Dot Pinecone. I am coming back on today with kind of a um, flashback. I thought I'd show you guys a couple of projects that I made years ago. And um, when I first started crafting. And I don't know, just kind of was, got out a tub of stuff that I had that I hadn't given away or anything and hadn't done anything with. So I thought I would get a couple things out and show you a couple of my past projects. So this is a um, an envelope. Um, an envelope uh, book, mini album. So um, this was using some My Mind's Eye paper. Um, when I first started crafting, I wasn't really paying attention to like the thickness of the paper because this is this came in a big pad and it's and it is um, really thin paper. But I didn't. I mean, I don't mind it so much. I mean, I still have some of the paper left, which I love. Um, but I layered it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so as you can see a little bit from this, I used to um, I used to do a lot more vintage than I. Um, have been doing lately. So um, all these things, I mean, I got ink on everything. I got a little charm here, tool, ribbon. There's ink on the flower. There's some charms here. Anyway, <clears throat> these came in a, it was like a big uh, open envelope. So it was like a big square. So I folded up everything and then um, left the one side undone. So anyway, I just put some paper. It's just real simple, but then I made, I attached these little uh, flowers from a trim and I made, you know, pull out, um, you know, photo mats for each, <clears throat> each pocket here, excuse me. And then I, I inked all the edges and everything. So anyway, that's one page and here's the next page. Tie some tool. This is, I love this little trim here. Kind of vintage looking anyway layered up a bunch of time and this is a pocket that unfolds and so you can put a bunch of pictures inside there and then there's this page with the pocket and then it has a big tag that pulls out again here's another hopefully I'm in frame another um, photo map that can come out and here's the next page and then there's the next one another pull out right here so real simple um, you can see a, I can see I can see a lot of change in my work this is probably made <clears throat> let's see probably oh, maybe seven years ago something like that so some of the stuff I still do like I colored these wood pieces. <laughs> I did that a long time ago. Colored them with some. This one's I colored with some um, Copic markers. And then this page here, it's I left, I instead of tucking these two underneath the paper, I left them out and put a thing in there, tied it with some ribbon, so then this one opens up like that. And then close it back up. And then there's a tag that I made that I stuck in there using some of this Tim Holtz film strip stuff that I love. I still have a couple things, but I, I love it. And then here's the next page. Okay, have some flowers. And then here's the last page. Another pull out. And then there's the back. So, <clears throat> I love this when I made it. Okay, and then here's another one. <clears throat> Real quick. Same, um, design just different papers and stuff it's another my mind's eye um paper and this one's you know more reds and blues and whites and then let's decorate up the front then again i use the flower as the, the pull out it's got a little clip right there put a photo in there and there's that page so this is um, you know, they're just made to be fairly plain until you add your pictures and stuff on. And this one. And this The photo can tuck under there, under the trim. This one, I did the same thing on this other one, but this one time I Velcroed it. So you can open it up, put your picture in there. And I put this little butterfly on there. 
a little clip there. And there's this page and has a little um, coin envelope right there that I stamped on. And this one is a this shape of a page. It's a like a album page that I put in there. It's the back of it. Okay, here's the next page. A little dove. There's another pullout right there. And then here's this one. And this one is another one of those trifold um, cards. So you can open up. You, you can journal in there. You can add things, photos, pieces, whatever. So. Um, wood piece there that I stamped on. Another pull out, some pom pom trim. And then here's the back, the pocket. And you can I put a spot to like put the date or your name or whatever, and then a little tag to pull out. And this one is put together with two um, binder rings. The other one, the first one I showed you, only had the one in the top. So you can kind of do whatever you want. But anyway, so what I was going to do today is. Um, when I was going through these, I realized that I still had a kit left for this. Because um, I would make kits and put them on um, uh, eBay and Etsy. Anyway, I still have one kit left to make this blue one. So it's got everything in it to um, make it like I showed you how mine was. So what I'm going to do is, um, so here's the envelopes, they're just all flat like that. And these are actually CD envelopes, so if you notice on here, there is two lines. You can see that. So there's two lines where you fold. So if you fold on both lines, it'll give you some, um, some depth so that you could add things inside there that are more chunky. So here is this. So anyway, what I'm going to do is um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, tell me if you like it. I mean, like I say, this is a design from seven, eight years ago, something like that. I mean, it was a long time ago. But anyway, leave me a comment below, and then I'm going to um, pick a winner out of the comments from all the comments, and I will send this out to the winner, and you can make your own little album and, um, you know, add things to it because, like I say, if you notice they're not as chunky and stuff as I as I make now, but but they are kind of nice because you know they're a little bit easier to mail and that kind of stuff because they're not quite so chunky. So anyway, all this stuff will come in there, you know, the doilies and ribbon and cut out cutouts and the you know flowers and trims and butterfly and the paper, everything that's you see on this thing, the binder rings, everything is all in there. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And then I will choose a winner from the comments. And I'll leave it open for, um, let's see. I will leave it open till, let's say, today's Tuesday. So I'll leave it open till um, Saturday night, I guess. And then I will we'll choose a winner from the comments. And then I'll mail this out to you. And you can put it together and add your own stuff to it, whatever you want, or change it up, or whatever. And um, anyway, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and um, thank you so much for supporting my channel, and watching my videos, and leaving comments, and everything. I really super appreciate everything that you guys do. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.